complicated and it's important. We made mistakes. That's what Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is saying in response to the Cambridge Analytica scandal. This is after more than five days of staying silent on the matter. This comes after it was revealed that the data firm mined Facebook users' info for political purposes. He posted a lengthy statement on Facebook. He's acknowledging that mistakes were made and trying to protect user data. Zuckerberg actually laid out steps that the company is doing. Some of those steps including that they have the responsibility to protect your data. I want to read from the statement here. He says that even if we can't, we don't deserve to serve you. He says that he's been working to understand exactly what happened and how to make sure that this doesn't happen again. He says the good news is the most important actions to prevent this from happening today have already been taken years ago, but we also made mistakes. There's more to do, and we know we need to step it up. He gave us a timeline then in this statement, uh, by the way, which is like almost more than five pages. And he says here in 2007, we launched the Facebook platform with the vision that more apps should be social. Your calendar should be able to show your friends' birthdays. Your maps should show where your friends live, and your address book should show their pictures. To do this, we enable people to log into apps to share who their friends were and some information about them. Then he goes on to talk about 2013. A Cambridge University researcher named Alexander Kogan created a personality quiz. It was installed in about 300,000 people. Again, this is the statement from Mark Zuckerberg. And he's saying those 300,000 people shared their data. They shared their person, their friends' data as well. Given the way our platform worked at the time, this meant that Kogan was able to access tens of millions of their friends' data. Then in 2014, to prevent abusive apps, we, meaning Facebook, announced that we were changing the entire platform. So what they did was dramatically limit the data apps that could access. More, more importantly, he says that the apps like Kogan's could no longer ask for data about the person's friends unless their friends had authorized the app. They said that they were also required developers to get approval from us before they could request any sensitive data from people. Those actions would prevent any app like Kogan's from being able to access so much data today. Then he goes to 2015 and he says he learned from journalists at The Guardian that Kogan had shared data from his app with Cambridge Analytica. It is against our policies, Zuckerberg says, for developers to share data without people's consent. So we immediately banned Kogan's app from our platform and demanded that Kogan and Cambridge Analytica formally certify that they had deleted all improperly acquired data. They provided these certifications. Last week, we learned from The Guardian, The New York Times, Channel 4, that Cambridge Analytica may not have deleted the data that they had certified. We immediately banned them from using any of our services. Cambridge Analytica claimed that they've deleted the data and they agreed to to a forensic audit by a firm that we hired to confirm this. We're also working with regulators as they investigate what happened. Now, Zuckerberg then goes on to say in this statement that this was a breach of trust between Kogan, the researcher, and Cambridge Analytica and Facebook, but it was also a breach of trust. And I should highlight, it's the first time we've heard Facebook actually say this was a breach of trust, and it was a breach of trust between Facebook and the people who share their data with us, accept us and expect us to protect it. We need to fix that. In this case, we already took the most important steps a few years ago in 2014 to prevent bad actors from accessing people's information. And he goes on to talk about the steps. First, he said that they investigated all the apps and a larger part of the information that was shared to dramatically reduce the access that these apps had to, to people's information. And he conducted a full audit. And he said they banned developers from our platform that did not agree to a thorough audit. He also goes on to say that we restricted developers' data access even further to prevent any other kind of abuse. And then thirdly, he goes on to say they want to make sure they understand which apps you've allowed.